we're starting on the installation of these seat belts. With my really long monkey arms. Hang on a minute. Oh no, I put it on the wrong way. It'd be like all the juices from the prop and the diff. Morning guys and welcome back to Rusty Nuts. So today we're going to be sorting out the seat belts in Oscar. Now I did start some of this last night and you'll see some of the footage from that. But what I realised is that I've mounted the seat belts on the driver's side. So up on the top in the A40s. These cars are, this Oscar's from 1961 and it was compulsory to fit seat belts from 1964 and then rules and regulations didn't kick in until the 80s where it was actually you know you had to actually wear them um but manufacturers needed to fit them in the front so the mounting points were there in 61 um and when i've taken the bolts out on the top they're far shorter than what you get in the the seat belt kits these days um so this is a 716 um basically a 25 mil or one and a half inch um, bolt. So I've got captive plates to fit underneath the car. So the bolt will go through the transmission tunnel, which will be for the, um, the seatbelt stalks. So that'll all get fitted in there. So it'll go through, clip on like that nicely and sit up beside the chair. But what I did find I missed last night when I fitted those was these shoulder spacers. So I need to order a couple, Moss sell them, other places sell them. So the plan is to order some of those and basically what that does is give you a space between the body, so if that's the body, and the uh, the actual bracket of the seat belt so it doesn't rub the paint. So at the moment on that one, if it's got movement in it, it will actually rub Oscar's paintwork inside, which I'm not, you know, too precious about, but I'd rather put these on anyway and it just stops damage. If you can stop it being caused, then why not do it? So I need to get some of those orders. I'll leave that one in place for now anyway, because it just helps when I'm kind of making um, making sure everything fits and works correctly. But um, I'll get these ordered and then in a week I'll just unbolt those, slot these spaces on, job done. But uh, the job today is to get the underneath part done. So I'm jacking the car up anyway to do under seal. Um, so first job is jack it up, get one of the kids out to help me in the car just to push the bolt through and then uh, yeah we'll get cracking so first job is let's take the passenger seat out the driver's seat's already out uh, and it just gives you more space to work because last night i was faffing around in the dark trying to crawl behind the chairs and they kept falling on me and all sorts it just wasn't great so let's do that this morning so let's crack on So uh, I was just giving the floor a quick inspection while we're in here and it's all looking pretty good, got to say. So I don't think we've got any concerns in terms of any rust on these floor pans. It's hard to tell because there's like a, it's almost like a stone chip sort of coating on there, but I've had a good prod around and it seems okay. Um, so what we're going to do, take these little rubber bungs off here. Uh, that should reveal then the, the mounting holes for the seat belts and I'm going to try uh, first off just filing that hole because I don't think it's what we're we talking just a couple of mil probably. I'm just applying a little bit of uh, copper ease to the holes down there where we've taken those bungs out of just to uh, give it a bit of rust protection. So something you can use copper ease for is uh, prevention of rust. So works better than sort of general grease for um you know if you're using just a general purpose lithium grease the copper ease works way better for rust prevention than just the standard grease so that's what i'm doing what we're looking at now is i filed down those holes inside oscar so now in that tranny tunnel um they're filed down, coated in copper ease so we don't get any rust issues. Uh, and then what we're going to do is feed the bolt through. I'll go underneath, put the captive nut in place, try and get it started because the kids have deserted me. So I haven't got any helpers. So there's me thinking I needed help. But with my really long monkey arms, I can actually reach around. But whom? I can do it. Oh, hang on. Is this arm long enough? Yes, that arm is long enough. So the monkey arms have come in for useful once again. I don't know when they were useful before. Getting stuff off top shelves, people ask me to do that a lot. Whew. 
So if I put you this side now, you can see the absolute strain on my face as I'm trying to do this little reach around manoeuvre. But uh, let's go for it. So we want, we want you that way, Mr. Number One. This is what makes it difficult because you have this on, it kind of throws the balance off. If it's just the, the bolt, not so bad. All right, let's give it a whirl. See if we end up with the mic on the, uh, in fact, before I lose it again, I'm gonna stick it there. Clever, isn't it? Right, let's try this reach around. I'll tell you what, your hand gets covered in shit. There, that's the problem. Once it starts going in, it's not the most dignified of positions. Oh, this one's easier. Oh my god, you put all your weight on your neck, so it can't be healthy, I'm saying, I'm telling you that now, but... There we go. Ugh. Oh my god. Right. Come back here, Mr. Microphone. Let's whizzy whizzy him. Let's try and get the same angle as that one as well. Yeah, that's not moving. I think they should move, really. And um, once it's in, we can have a look because it might mean. That... Hang on a minute. Oh no, I put it on the wrong way. Why do we do this stuff? Huh? Right. <sighs> Round two. Let's get the net ready for it. You literally like spot your head in this corner. Oh, hang on. There we go. Let's get some ASMR struggle sounds. Are you ready for this? I'm not far enough down. Oh, it's so slippy. <laughs> I'm not meaning this to sound dirty. It's just it's very slippy under there because it must be like all the juices from the prop and the diff. Yeah, I got it in one again. This side's easier than the other side was. Ugh. Jesus. Oh my god. My bloody neck. That's one more time than I wanted to do that. Didn't feel bad after the, the second time doing, you know, the third one. It was a killer. Right, let's whizzy whizzy it. There we go, it's not moving. That'll do. Right, let's get the carpets in. So, good news is I found a couple of these, uh, I think they're called um, shoulder spacers. So actually now it means I can fit these onto this side seat belt and that's done. It's all, all taken care of. And then all I'll do is I'll order a couple from Moss to do the passenger side. So this side should be fully completed and I can use it, which is great because uh, obviously generally speaking, I don't have passengers in Oscar anyway. It's just me. Um, but I am hoping that me and uh, Arch, my lad, can go out for a couple of drives as well, which would be really nice. Um, they can already go in it, so law, UK law states that the the, the kids over the age of um, over the age of three can actually sit in the back of a classic car that wasn't originally fitted with seat belts, uh, unrestrained. So they could go in. Would I want them to? No, but um, you know. So the, the, there is that. So I have actually taken them onto the public road. Um, we live on like a, a big green island thing so it's just you could drive round and round and round and you know people come and practice on their motorbikes and stuff like that to get used to it but um so i took them around there in the car and they absolutely loved it um but yeah i wouldn't want to take them on the open road like that um around there you know slow speeds and stuff He's still something could happen but you know it's highly unlikely uh, whereas out on the road you know it's, you've got to be careful so I don't think we'd do a long journey in it. I think generally, if we were going anywhere as a family, I'd drive Oscar and then they'd meet me there. But it's uh, it's nice to have that little option that we could go for a little drive if we wanted to. So that's why we're doing it. But yeah, so got these bits for this side. So the driver's side will actually be fully complete and then we just have the passenger side to do once the bits come. So excellent. So just down here, underneath this uh, cover, this uh, like vinyl stuff there's um 
there's a little screw hole i'm just pushing it in there now so you can kind of see the the little divot maybe on the camera i'm not sure if you will but i'm just going to go in there i could do with a smaller i've got a little craft stanley blade somewhere but as with everything especially over winter these things kind of just tend to go walkies so i'm just gonna score a little square around this the exposed hole so that's what it would have come with manufactured so you get the top mounting point which is up there um on the the pillar and then you also get down here on the sill the uh the bottom mount so what we can do then is just make sure we've got our belt lined up nicely so that when it's connected in it's sitting well and then get a bolt Fasten that in. Oh, they're, a, they're a pig, these um, bolt holes, I think, because they've not been used before and they've probably got years of grime in them. They're not, they don't like playing ball. Oh. What I'm going to do is tighten it up to the point it pinches it, and then I'll just, that's that's actually really nice there, so you've got that little range of motion, perfect, and we'll stick with that, so that's it then. So, that's actually both belts done, so I've, I've got the little shoulder things I managed to get a couple, so they're uh, all sorted now, belts in top, bottom, we've got the stalks in as well for them to clip into, Um so yeah it's it's perfect i'm really pleased with it the next job to look at is whether i want to put some uh, lap belts in the back i'm not really sure i don't know if i'll use them um but having the the front two is really good let's get the interior back in and then i think we're pretty much done on this job